Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between welding and riveting. Joining is a part and parcel in manufacturing as it is used to assemble two or more solid components either permanently or temporarily. Welding is a fabrication process whereby two or more parts are fused together by means of heat, pressure or both forming a join as the parts cool. Welding is usually used on metals and thermoplastics but can also be used on wood. A riveted joint is a permanent joining process, with mainly two components or parts to be joined, which are held together by a rivet with the head at top and tail at the bottom. So, let's look into the basic differences between welding and riveting in a tabular form. Difference number 1, no hole is required to drill on the parent components in order to join them by welding, whereas, riveting require a number of through holes in specific locations on the parent components for the passage of rivets. Number 2, load carrying capacity of the parent components before and after welding remains more or less same, whereas, due to presence of holes on the parent components, effective cross-sectional area reduces, and thus load carrying capacity also degrades after riveting. Number 3, many welding processes, fusion welding mainly, tend to change metallurgical properties of the base plate surrounding the weld bead, whereas, metallurgical properties of the base plate material remain unaffected in riveting. Number 4, strength of the welded joint is very high, often it is more than the strength of base plates, so, we could also say that welding joint strength is 100%, whereas, strength of riveted joint is comparatively low. Number 5, most welding processes give a continuous type joint, except resistance welding process, whereas, riveting is inherently an intermittent type joint as small gap exists between two adjacent rivets. Number 6, welded assemblies are prone to fail under vibration. With the advancement of welding technology, no welded structures remain stable under vibrations, whereas, rivet joints performs well under vibrations. This is the reason behind the popularity of riveting in bridge construction in early days. Number 7, weld joints are usually leak-proof, whereas, rivet joints may not offer leak-proof joints, particularly in high-pressure applications, for example, in a supercritical broiler. Number 8, welding requires no additional plates or straps, except the filler material in some cases, whereas, riveting requires additional cover plates, straps as well as multiple rivets. Number 9, welded assemblies are lighter in weight, whereas, due to use of several additional parts, riveted assemblies become heavy. Number 10, designing a welded assembly is easy, cheap and time efficient, whereas, designing a riveted assembly requires a substantial amount of calculations, and thus it is costly and time consuming. Number 11, time required for welding is also less, whereas, drilling the holes, inserting the rivets, heating the protruding end, and then upsetting them, all these steps take substantial time. Number 12, appearance of welded assembly is good. The reinforced part of the weld bead and spatters can be removed easily by grinding to improve appearance, whereas, rivet head and the closing head always remain protruded from the surface. This hampers the appearance of riveted assemblies. Number 13, various shapes such as circular or elliptical shafts can be easily joined by welding, whereas, such shapes cannot be joined by riveting without using additional plates. Number 14, welding can be applied for joining of metals as well as ceramic, plastic and also composites, whereas, riveting is useful only for joining of metals. And, difference number 15, welded joints have a wide variety of applications where a permanent joining is desired. Examples include, but not limited to, pipe or rod joining, sheets or plates joining, automobile industries, joining of railway tracks, common civil applications, etc., whereas, although nowadays rivet joints are mostly superseded by weld joints, the former one were used in, pressure vessels, gas cylinders, boilers, bridges, ship tussles, and various frames.